remote work from home has been the fantasy of many workers since the invention of computers. The pandemic and modern technology have made that reality more popular. In fact, the genie is out of the bottle and many workers will never go back. Whether you are a dedicated company employee or like I have found the freedom of making money online these 5 remote work from home tips will turn you into the zen master of remote working from home. What is remote work? Remote work does not always mean remote work from home. The concept of working from anywhere in the world is nothing new. Until recently it was just a fantasy. Now with ever increasing advancements in technology, we are constantly bringing that fantasy closer to reality. The coronavirus pandemic changed life as we knew it all around the world and catapulted the remote work from home fantasy into a reality. Advances in technology and some of the world's top companies are working feverishly to bring us closer together virtually and in the process change the future of work forever. Hopefully, these advancements in technology will continue to make it even easier over time to connect as employees, business owners, creators, and businesses across time zones and continents. We all may not be physically in the same room but can work just as effectively, if not more so, than current traditional models. Is it time for everyone to break the chains of tradition and convention to become creators, employees, and business owners all rolled into one by embracing remote work from home? Is remote work for you? Most people are excited about remote work from home opportunities because they believe it offers increased flexibility, increased productivity, saves money, and offers more overall freedom. Before diving head first into remote work from home you must evaluate your current work and life situation to see if there is a fit. Let's take a closer look. The landscape. Are you a creator, business owner, or employee that thrives on office culture, teams or needs to be micromanaged? Remote work from home can accommodate all of that in varying degrees but can it work for you? Will management expectations affect you positively or negatively? Are there programs or a company culture that will help you feel included in day-to-day -day activities? Is there technology and software that will support your remote work from home goals? As a business owner, self-employed or creator do you have the expertise or budget to support remote work from home aspirations? Personal boundaries. Are you the type of person that can thrive in a remote work from home environment? Will you be able to structure your day to be productive in a remote work from home situation? Will family members or housemates be a benefit or burden? These are some of the questions you must ask yourself before you commit to becoming a remote work from home worker. Let's take a look at some of the benefits of remote work from home. Benefits of remote work from home. Over 20 years ago I landed a position as a field service engineer. It was a salary plus overtime position. So there was no time clock to punch. Most of the time I would head to whatever job I had in the field for the day from home and was not expected to come into the office. I lived in my work area and my office was not near my work area. So I almost never visited the office. I essentially was remote working from home. For that reason, I put extra pressure on myself to be more productive more so than I did when I worked in the office. I hear this is the trend for remote work from home employees. They usually don't need a manager breathing down their back to be productive. The greater sense of independence holds them accountable. For that reason, not that reason alone, I believe an overwhelming amount of employees will fight like hell to remain remote from work from home employees. That being the case let's learn to become Zen masters at remote working from home and master its benefits. One. Working remotely allows for better work-life balance that is an obvious no-brainer. No more fighting crowds like an animal getting things done. You can only do on Saturday because of your work schedule. You can fit those things in during the week like a normal person. Creating a healthy work-life balance should be the number one reason remote work from home will enjoy a very high adoption rate. 2. Remote employees have more freedom. Enjoy a two-minute commute walking downstairs to your home office, holding a cup of coffee in your pajamas to start your work day. Without your manager breathing down your neck is the definition of freedom to me. Your definition of freedom may require you to wear pants or even more clothing. That is fine too. You do you. I'm just saying my way is an option a remote work from home Zen master should own. For many, the work day will be scheduled around chores, like working out, laundry, or picking the children up from school. The simple daily chores are transparent and never affect work productivity. There are times life strikes and work productivity will take a hit. 
being that you set your own schedule you can better plan for those events and also plan the recovery to make up for the loss in productivity. Being a remote employee promotes employee health and wellness. Remote work from home allows for better health and wellness. The first health benefit is not being forced to be around sick people. Not only in the office but in hallways, elevators, cafeteria, and stairwells. It's even better for workers who rely on public transportation where social distancing is all but impossible. For me, the number number one health and wellness benefit of remote work from home is less stress. My morning routine can be very stressful. Get dressed and out of the house and fight the morning commute to get to work on time. As an introvert, I find office politics and work relationships stressful. I believe most people find it stressful to varying degrees. Lunchtime is always a tricky one for me. People watch you coming and going believe it or not. If you do not come and go with a robot like precision going or coming a little late or early can look suspect and add a layer of stress. The amount of time you spend at work away from loved ones can be stressful. Remote work from home can ease all of those problems, greatly improving your health and wellness. 4. Remote work equals an increase in productivity. Remote work from home productivity can be debated pro or con but the numbers don't lie. A study by Stanford of 16,000 workers over 9 months found that working from home increases productivity by 13%. This increase in performance was due to more calls per minute attributed to a quieter more convenient working environment and working more minutes per shift because of fewer breaks and sick days. The data shows when employees are able to skip the extra coffee breaks, the long commute, and many other distractions to focus on their work, productivity will increase significantly. The data results not only showed a work productivity boost equal to a full day's work but also fewer sick days and a 50% decrease in employee attrition. There is just simply more time for actual work and increased productivity, more time with friends and family. 5. Working remotely saves companies money. Remote work from home saves companies money mainly by lessening the need for actual office space. There is simply fewer empty desks waiting to be filled by a new hire, employees traveling, out sick, or vacationing. Those empty desks cost the company money. With remote work from home, companies can refuse their real estate footprint significantly. The same Stanford study of remote workers allowed companies to save nearly $2,000 per employee on office space rent, utilities, phones, internet, and other expenses. Employees or remote business owners can save as much as $4,000 on average every year on expenses such as car maintenance, transportation, professional clothing in the office, or even money spent dining out for lunch with coworkers. Remote work from home tips. 1. Stick to the routine stick to your schedule to maintain a perfect work-life balance. Try to start and stop work at the same time every day. It will become second nature and you will begin doing it without even thinking. Don't forget you don't have to be traditional. Developing a schedule makes you most productive. Freedom in the superpower of remote work from home. 2. Morning routine is king starting your day right is powerful and key to having an awesome day. The greatest advantage to creating a morning routine is it reduces stress by fighting decision fatigue and inspires your internal clock to activate. When you begin your morning routine your body will instantly know you are getting ready for work and switch on to autopilot. Your internal clock actively keeps you on track and your routine should end perfectly in time to start work. 3. Get your tribe on board as a remote work from home person It is very important to get everyone in your home on board with the plan. Work together to develop basic rules that work for everyone involved. Children, meeting times, quiet times, and shared spaces. Don't just take breaks, enjoy them. Unless you are working for yourself, Know the official break times for the organization you work for and stick to them. Use a program or app to help. I know you are at home and how will they know and be different? This is a matter of principle and can be the proverbial gateway drug. Meaning taking too many or extra long breaks can lead to more disastrous behaviors. During lunch or breaks be sure to stand up, walk around, stretch, rest your eyes and get out of the house. Enjoy. 4. Dedicate office space. I know it seems more convenient to use one computer for work and play, but this is usually not a good idea if you work for a company. Your company will most likely insist you use a dedicated company computer. It's more secure and protects you from your employer's prying eyes on the personal side. If you do not have a spare room use a portion of a table, desk, or a room to set up shop. 
remember work time is work time and personal time is a personal time. And you should work hard to keep them separated. 5. Use a VPN What is a virtual private network, VPN? A VPN is a service that helps you stay private online. A VPN establishes a secure, encrypted connection between your computer and the internet, providing a private tunnel for your data and communications while you use public networks. Always using a VPN is a good rule to follow when you are working from a coffee shop, connected to a public Wi-Fi network, or any network you do not control. If you work for a company they will most likely provide you with a VPN because it is just a network security must for remote work. In those cases, remote workers are in luck. In other cases using one of the many VPNs on the market is recommended. They work well with little to no negative effect on performance. VPNs are used as basic security measures to secure your network connection. 6. Team building remote work from home experts says socializing with other employees can be very important to increase overall happiness and productivity. I say poppycock. As an introverted isolation, disconnect and loneliness would not be a problem for me. I agree with company trips, and software like Zoom and Slack can go a long way to promote employee socialization. But we all know that is not enough. I believe it's better to see it all as team building. I may just be me, but when you try to build work friendships and work relationships it always leads to disorderly cliques and other problems. I believe looking to enhance team building is a better less emotional way to go. Don't solely gravitate to the people you like most or agree with. Think of everyone as a team member and really make use of everything team members bring to the table. 7. Take time off I enjoyed many years as a remote work from home employee. I felt guilty about taking time off. If I was sick I would just suck it up and continue working. If I had something to do I would try to find a way to get it done during working hours. I have come to believe those actions were a big mistake. Number 1 you deserve time off and the company should not have a problem with that. Working when you feel horrible you are not as productive as you think. Take time off and heal. Trying to squeeze personal tasks in during your workday almost never works out. Murphy's Law always seems to raise its little head. Take the time off and take care of your personal tasks stress-free. Everyone you encounter will, thank you. 8. Look for training and learning opportunities when you're not in an office with your fellow employees, you will miss out on many training, skills development exercises, and other events held on site. Your company might even forget to add you to its online training courses. Out of sight, out of mind. It can be tempting to regard this type of oversight as a dodged bullet, but you might be missing out on an opportunity to learn something useful and team built. Speak up and make sure you're included in everything. If you are like me you consider most company in-house training inadequate and boring. That's because it is usually compliance training. Don't be afraid to request relevant outside training. You should even be proactive and be on the lookout for relevant training. I always believe learning is a way of life. All good companies offer training and employee development programs. You remote work from home and out of sight, out of mind. If you are self-employed it is even more important you keep your skills on point and develop new ones. 9. Communicate communicate and communicate. When working remotely from home communicating is very important. Be sure to make it easy for everyone involved to always know your schedule and availability. Never assume anything. Be proactive always ask, send emails or texts and get confirmation from all parties involved. 10. Stay positive your state of mind is in the tone of every phone call, email, or text whether intended or not. In remote work from home, communication is very important due to the lack of actual face-to-face -face time with people. To help avoid coming off as terse and short-tempered everyone must work hard to be as positive as possible. Almost to the point where it feels phony to avoid sounding like a jerk. It will also help to lay on punctuations and even emojis on thick. Every little bit will help to portray the most positive attitude possible. 11. Don't be too hard on yourself working remotely from home has its guilty pleasures and don't be afraid to enjoy them. If you enjoy incorporating a hobby or something you like to do into your work day enjoy it. As long as it does not interfere with your work and productivity or go against company rules, wink, wink. Of course, you would not be able to do that if you worked on site but, don't be hard on yourself for taking full advantage of your situation. The company you work for is or you would not be allowed to remote work from home. 
Successful remote work from home employees is some of the hardest working and most dedicated on the planet. Those are the type of employees that are usually granted the privilege to remote work from home. A little shopping online or doing a little personal research in between performing your work duties is fine. Just be sure not to let your attention and dedication drift over time and develop bad habits. Work hard to ensure your situation stays mutually beneficial to all parties involved. Also remember your co-workers, bosses and most professionals you encounter in the process of performing your duties are in the same boat. Be understanding while giving them a knowing nod and a wink. They may have just come from picking the kid up or dropping them off at school. 12. End your day with a routine. You begin and end your day with a routine. The routine itself does not matter, you develop it, but it must signify your work day has ended. If you decide your work day ends with you heading to the gym for a workout or picking up the kids from school then that is it and you should act accordingly. Switch today off from work mode. Start living your life until your routine starts up again the next day and you are back at work and productive. Thank you for stopping by. Click like and bang on that subscribe button. Please visit the description to get even more life-changing information.